Well, hello and welcome back to my channel. It's Salisa coming to you from Beautifully Me and You. And today I'm going to be showing you all about how I make these frosted cash envelopes um, that I use in my sinking funds binder. Now, I also use them for my little mini cash envelopes that I carry with me in my key holder. And I will show you guys some of those in a little bit. But for right now, that's basically what we're going to be working on today. They're pretty thick and sturdy. Um, and all of the money when it's in, you can still see the dollar bills, but they are frosted like that. Okay. So if you're interested in seeing how I make these frosted cash envelopes, then let's get right into it. Today is day five of the... Christmas extravaganza. That's right. The 12 days of Christmas videos as well as giveaways. And I am going to be picking from the Noel box a little bit later in the video to see what the prize will be for today's giveaway. And then at the end of the video, I'll also announce the giveaway winner from yesterday. But for right now, I want to go ahead and get started with the making of these cash envelopes. And hopefully I can explain it well enough that you guys can do it. And let me tell you something. You guys are always on it, giving me ideas and suggestions how I can do things better every time I've released one of these cash envelope making videos so keep the suggestions coming because there might be somebody else who's looking to make these and they need your tips and tricks okay all right so first things first this process is going to be very similar to how you make clear cash envelopes i have a video that does speak to you about how to make clear cash envelopes and i'll link it up above here and then the second video I made about cash envelopes had to do with when you want to embed flowers into your cash envelopes. And I have a video about that. I'll put that up there. And then finally, I made another tutorial about how to make a hundred envelope cash box, um, savings challenge box. And I'll put that video up there if you're interested in that. All of those videos have pretty similar principles to how I make these particular envelopes, um, just little bits different, you know, in each one. Okay, so let's talk about all the things that you'll need for these frosted envelopes. All right, so you need some most important step is vellum, clear vellum paper. And it looks like this. This is the pack that I bought. I think it was only like four or five dollars at Michael's. This is a recollection. Um, paper and this was 40 sheets I think for like I said four or five dollars um, you don't have to have specifically this brand just as long as you have clear vellum paper um, and one sheet kind of looks like let me take a sheet out and I'll show you what it looks like it's like this okay it's rather smoky and people use this type of vellum paper to go over like wedding invitations birthday invitations so that it looks just a little bit elevated. And that's what this paper is typically used for. So you will need some vellum paper. Also need um, just regular laminate sheets. These came from Amazon. They don't have to be anything in particular. This is three ML or three mil. Yeah, three mil. <laughs> so you need some laminate sheets. You need, of course, a laminator, okay? I'm using the Scotch, Scotch laminator that I have. You need a hole punch. This one you can find down below in my Amazon storefront. It does have where you can change the variations of what size envelopes you need. So mine is a personal, so that's why it's set on personal right now, but you can hole punch A6, a mini pocket, A5, um, all with this one hole punch. And so you will need a hole puncher. Like I said, this one's linked down below my Amazon storefront. And then you need a paper, you need a paper cutter and this one is not totally in frame but it is linked down below my amazon storefront you just you know cut the paper this way okay so those are all of the items you need the final item i don't have here at my house but it is important for these particular type of envelopes or cash envelopes you need a laser printer okay not an inkjet printer that won't work with these particular type of envelopes because what you're going to be doing is printing onto the vellum paper and then allowing it to dry it dries pretty quickly and then you'll cut it and use that to make the envelopes but if you use an inkjet printer it will smear on this type of paper so it has to be a laser printer so what i was doing for a minute there was printing them at work um, because laser printers are a little bit more expensive than an inkjet so just be aware of that to get started i'm going to show you how i printed 
So I actually downloaded a font from Creative Fabrica um, and it was this particular font that I used. And then I just created a template that had three cash envelopes per one sheet of paper. Okay, so that's what this is. I printed it through the laser printer and it printed just like this. Now that was one template I had for the cash envelopes. I created another template, which is for the mini cash envelopes. And it looks like this and it has gas, grocery, Stacy, food, fast food. This is just some one that I had created before. And so this is for the mini envelopes, okay? So these two, you would print beforehand. And once you get them printed, they don't smear nothing. You know, they're stuck on there. Once you print with a laser printer, then you would begin to cut, okay? Okay, so I'm gonna cut these three down to size and they're gonna end up being this size, six and a half inches long and three inches wide. And that's the size that we need to cut it so it can go inside the cash envelope, okay? Since the vellum paper is eight and a half inches wide, I'm first gonna take an inch off each side so they will be even because this print is in the middle of the paper. So I'm taking down to seven and a half and cutting off that and then turning it around and taking it to six and a half and I'm lining it up here, six and a half and then cutting off that. These two are just scrap papers that we won't need. And now you can see it coming together. The, the length is correct, okay? Next, what I do is I just cut off about an inch on each side so that they're even like this. Okay, so this is a little small paper. Now we need to make sure that they're three inches long. So I like to, for this particular one, take the font, take it right into three inches like this. And I go about a half of an inch more just because I think with this particular printer, whenever the words line up with this green line, that's exactly where I want it to be, okay? So it's a little bit bigger, and now I'll take it back this way down to three inches and cut off the remainder. And it looks like this. And unfortunately, I don't have the measurement tool, but once I do that first one, then I just line it up to three inches and notice the lines, the words on the paper line up with this gray bar. So that's how I know that one's exact. And then this one, I would line it up with the gray bar, which is three inches and cut off any tail. And that one's cut. Now we have three pieces of vellum that are cut to cash envelope size. And they're all even. Okay, so we set those to the side. I'm gonna go ahead and do the little mini cash envelope ones as well. For this one, it's a little bit harder. I line up the line here on the words fast food. And then I line up the next group of words right against the gray bar as well. I'm going to the top of the words, which is at three and a quarter inch. And now I'm gonna go to three inches and take some off the bottom. Okay, so you want it to look something like this. And I'm sorry that I don't have the exact measurements for you guys, but I know that um, I'm still gonna cut some inch off the edge and I'm gonna take about a half an inch off each side. Something like that. And this is part of the reason why I stopped selling them because I feel like they're so tedious to like do and they should be three and a half inches um, long. I feel like they're so tedious to do and they don't always come out exactly even. Look at that. That's not even exactly the same. The letters are lined up, but this gas is not centered. And you'll see that in some of the cash envelopes that I have for myself. It's not exactly centered, but this does give you the idea. All right, the next step for these is going to be putting 
the vellum paper into the laminate sheet. Now I laminate mine first and then go back and re-laminate to connect them to an envelope. So that's the trick to getting them to feel thick and sturdy. All right, so we have them in there like this and now we laminate. Well, I went ahead and turned on the laminator. I moved positions too, because the lighting just seemed to be a little bit off without my ring light. If you've been here before, then you know that I like to put a little bit of cardstock in the corner so that it doesn't get caught in the laminating machine. And that was a tip given to me by one of my subscribers here on a previous video. Thank you, whoever it was, because it has changed my life. Okay, because <laughs> my papers would always get jammed in the laminator. So now what I'm gonna do is just send it through the vellum inside of the laminate. All right, and then once it comes through like this, then I just go ahead and cut out the pieces. Now, they're just laminated cards, so it's not that difficult. We're not trying to do anything except cut out the shape, okay? We have them all laminated. They look like this, and it's just a sheet of laminated vellum with the words on them. Now we're actually going to turn them into envelopes. So for that, you need another sheet of laminate. You actually need two more sheets of laminate as well as the paper cutter. It has like rounded edges. So if you've seen my videos before, you know that I like to cut off the edge first. And I just line this up with the gray line and take off the tip. Once we do that, then I feed it in and I do three inches because that's the width of what we have. So I'll do a couple of those. Since one of them is going to be for the regular cash envelopes, that will be six and a half inches long, which is like this. And for the mini envelopes, we're gonna cut them three and a half inches long. I'm actually gonna do about three and a quarter because I wanna add some more on when we laminate, have a border. So three and a quarter and three and a quarter. All right, so that's all the cutting we'll need for right now. Our second sheet of laminate that we need, or now this is what, the third sheet? Yeah. <laughs> In the third sheet of laminate that we need now, we're gonna open up the paper. We're gonna take our laminate sheet and the shiny side, we're only gonna use one of these pages of this two piece laminate we cut. The shiny side goes facing down so it can create a pocket. The dull side facing up and we'll put our Christmas laminate on top of that, okay? The same thing goes with the little minis. The shiny side goes facing down like that. You want them to be long ways like this. And we put our little laminate cards on. Now, one thing I'm looking at right now as I'm sizing it up, this, we are gonna need a border of three, four, three fourths of an inch. So we need to scoot this whole thing up so we'll have a border to cut later. So I'm gonna scoot it up here. And you usually can fit three per sheet of laminate, three full size cash envelopes. Um, or six minis. That's what I've found. All right, it's going to be something like this, and I'm going to feed it through. All right, and it looks like this. The mini cash envelopes, they're not that difficult. We're just gonna cut them out. Let 
making sure to leave a slight border. And we cut across the top of this one to open it up. And once we cut across the top, we have our little pocket here. And this is the cash envelope that would sit down into, I probably would cut some more of this border. This is the cash envelope that would sit down into your cash wallet. Okay, so that's one of them. Let's do the other. If you want them extra straight, you can cut them with the paper cutter. I just seem to cut them by hand because it's quicker. <laughs> and then you cut off the top. Now, one thing about this vellum, it will feel like it's not gonna open. I sometimes bend it like this and then try to open and it's like this. And so you kind of pull it away, run your finger through it. And there you go. This side's really thick like cardstock and this side's thinner and the money goes right inside. And this is your pocket. So that's how I make the little mini cash envelopes. Now, as far as the regular cash envelope, you now have something that looks like this. I use the paper cutter. And what I do is first go along the edges. So on this particular paper cutter, anything that cuts right against this green bar, it's gonna cut it. And I wanna go in a little bit from that, which also you can use the measurement tools if you want them exact. If we started at six and a half inches, if you go in six and three quarters, you're just about there, okay? So I cut off the edges. Again, this one should be about six and three quarters. Cut off the edge, so it looks like this. And then on the top, I cut off the top first, and I literally take this line to three inches because that's how wide this should be, three inches, and it will cut off the top. All right, so now, now I run my finger through the back like this, just to open it up. And now our pocket is there for our cash, but we need this to this area to be three quarters inches long. So I put this on three and three quarters right here and then cut. And now we have the area for our hole punch. I don't know if you guys can see that very good, but now we would hole punch this. So let me get the hole puncher. All right, now I use the hole punch and it's already set to my personal envelope. I just slide it in and hole punch. And it comes out like this. That didn't come out so perfect because I didn't slide it in all the way. But anyway, you get the idea. You slide it in, you hole punch, and now you have your cash envelope for you to put your cash in and put it into your cash wallet. And that's also how you make the two little mini ones. I hate that those hole punches didn't come out right. See what happens when you rush in to make a video? Anyway, so, oh my God. All right, so this is the cash envelope and then these are the two minis that I made. I hope you guys got a chance to understand how to use the vellum paper in order to make your cash envelopes products, whether you're selling them or using them for personal use. I made mine for personal use and I've been loving them. I did, like I said, get the font off of Creative Fabrica. You can just pick a font that you enjoy and download it into Canva. And when you have it into Canva, you can print directly onto vellum paper. You type up what you need, okay? So I would leave the template down below, but it has that purchase font on it. I'm not sure if I can do that. If I can find a way to add a regular font and upload the template that I used, I'll leave it linked down below. Give me a couple of days to work on it though, but know that I'll try to get that out to you guys, okay? All right, I think that's everything as far as the envelopes. Let's get into the 12 days of Christmas giveaway. All right, so I have the Noel box here with all the little, oh, there's a pin in there. I have the Noel box here with all the little cash envelopes inside. Let's see which one we're gonna pick for today. How about this one? Every day I get so nervous to see what it is going to be. Today it is $15. So we'll be playing for $15 and we need a hashtag. Let's see. Someone in my comment section of my last video, one of my subscribers, I think it was Miriam. She said I should use the hashtag 
five golden pens. And I love that. I can see myself singing five golden pins. Yeah, so we're gonna do that one. Hashtag five golden pins. Um, and make sure you put that hashtag down below in the description box if you wanna be possibly chosen to get a gift card for $15 from this video. And I think that is everything. Don't forget to like, comment, share this video with others who might need this information. And I appreciate you guys for being here. It, I mean, we're only on day five. I feel like in some ways it's going so fast, but in some ways I feel like I've been doing these videos for forever. So <laughs> I'm stuck in the middle, okay? So I appreciate you guys showing up every day, commenting the hashtags, like really being a part of this whole 12 days of Christmas giveaway. I couldn't have done it without your participation and I'm ever so grateful. Never mistake that, okay? Let's stay tuned for the winner to see who won yesterday's giveaway, which was a $75 gift card. That'll be coming up next. And otherwise, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care. Okay, you guys, it's time to pick day four's winner for the 12 days of Christmas giveaway. The hashtag for yesterday's video was hashtag for calculators, and it's a $75 gift card. Let's see who won. Aisha Fraction. Hey, girl. Hey, you won. Please hit me up on Instagram in my DM so you can let me know how you'd like to be paid. You guys have a great one.